Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Straight Facts Commentary where I give you my unpopular opinions in everything pop culture. So please, please, please stick around and subscribe for more. Hey y'all, I am back again with another video and in today's video I have a topic. I have a topic and you guys see the title so we're going to be speaking about it um, from my perspective and just some different things that I've noticed and I just want to talk so if you're interested in this conversation like comment share and subscribe and most importantly don't forget to subscribe we're almost at 2k oh my god thank you guys so much i cannot believe it i love you guys so much you are my everything you're my babies <laughs> and we're almost there so once we get there we do have a cash app giveaway so stay tuned for that and let's go ahead and get into this video before i get into the topic of this video i do want to state that i do have a bunch of different rap girls in this video as for clips some of them do contribute in my opinion to the lackluster oversaturation of the female rap industry some of them don't but i just have female rap girls in here in general so take it as you will okay in this video, I'm actually not speaking about a specific female rapper. I'm speaking about female rap in general for the overall oversaturation and mediocrity that is female rap right now. This has been happening for a long time, pretty much since the development of female rap in terms of like we started getting new girls coming into the game and things like that. Once we started getting a plethora of girls coming into the game, it seems like the artists and the labels have prioritized pumping out music and mass quantities <laughs> and the music just simply not being that good quality wise so they're giving us a whole bunch of music but majority of the music that's coming out from majority of the mainstream female rap girls are lackluster and or only okay and i remember a while 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 back in my videos like when i first started making content i did make a video about this but at the time i didn't really have any subscribers or views like that so i ended up deleting the video probably had like 40 views on it so I'm kind of remaking a lot of my old videos now that there are people here. But yeah, the game, the female rap industry is very oversaturated. And I guess the method for the labels is let's get as many girls out here as possible and get as much music made as possible in hopes that we'll make returns on investments, in hopes that they'll be putting out music that the public resonates with instead of them picking out specific girls that are extremely talented, putting their money and resources into them and pushing them to the top. But instead, they kind of just get ev any or anyone, any and everybody with a specific image and a specific sound and push them to the forefront in hopes that people gravitate towards the music and hopes that people buy into them and their brands. Even though the female rap game is currently, in my opinion, very oversaturated right now in a non-positive way i do feel like there's a change coming because as you guys do know um tiktok and umg um recently split ways as far as having a lot of major artists you know music on the platform whether it's pop hip-hop all genres of music have been affected by this but also female rap so what i'm hoping as a result of this change with tiktok and umg It'll result in the labels reevaluating. Okay, so we don't have TikTok on our side anymore as far as boosting our artists' music and making TikTok bops. We'll have to go back to the drawing board to figure out how to market to the public now and how to get people to resonate with our artists. And I hope that in turn develops better quality music more well thought out projects singles images just everything i hope that the labels really get into the offices and they're like hey okay we're gonna really spend more time on curating quality artists and quality music that is my hope do i think that that's actually gonna happen probably freaking not because i just don't think that's gonna happen unfortunately because right now with female rap artists, we have new music coming out every week from, you know, the mainstream female rap girls or the hot female rap girls. We hear about it one day and then it's literally gone the next. You know, Megan Thee Stallion's hiss. It literally went number one. I love Megan Thee Stallion. It's not to take away from her talent or anything, but it's just to make the point that, you know, it was here and then it was gone. Then we had Lotto Sunday Service. It was here. The hype was there. Everybody was talking about, you know, all the stuff with it. 
it debuted at number 100 on the charts and i don't know if it's rising currently you know the girls put out music and it it's here for a minute due to whatever is being talked about online and then we don't hear about it again it's like we gotta now i feel like at this point at this stage we gotta go to the drawing board reevaluate and see what we need to do it's time it's time it's time it's time the labels can't use tiktok as a crutch anymore the labels cannot use tiktok as a crutch the artists can't use tiktok as a crutch the managers can't use tiktok as a crutch the only thing that we have now is genuine talent genuine talent and instagram social media you know to promote things like that instagram twitter whatever social media platform but this is my perspective from what i observed personally so what is you guys' opinion do you feel like the female rap industry is oversaturated do you feel like there is improvements that need to be made overall in the industry not speaking about one artist in uh, you know in particular just as a whole if you're looking at it from a whole perspective you know what i mean so you guys let me know and i love you guys so much um thank you so much for being here you guys are everything like i said and i will talk to you in the next one bye